From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough with the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop, bop. So what's up, YouTube? This is D from Brooklyn giving you a shot from inside the greenhouse. I'm filming today because it has just rained overnight and it's relatively cool. The greenhouse is usually hitting above 80, but today with all the rain, it's in that 75 degree zone. So it's pretty comfortable in here. And I want to give you a shot of what I feed the ponds. It's kind of kind of odd. You know, you figure a lot of people will argue the point. Do you actually have to feed a pond? And it depends a lot on what fish you have. As you can see here in this tub, it's really hard to see them, but you can see the mess. I have a bunch of white clouds in here right now. And as you can see, most of the flakes are on the floor. I don't know if you can see the fish themselves because from the top down shot, they're pretty hard to see. But you can see all the food. And if you look close, you can see the fish when the water is not moving. But here's the deal. See, there is so much larva that grow in these water these ponds and tubs that the fish tend to live more on larva and less rely on flake food and then if you do feed pelleted or flake food with pellets probably being the preferred food you want to feed it really sparingly or you end up with problems like that now one of the things that you will get in these container ponds is a ton of larva and when I say larva, I mean mosquito larvae, microorganisms, and things of that nature, which are really hard to get on camera. But if you look really close, I may be able to film one. I see some moving, if you look close, right there. And the fish tend to make this a majority of the diet. So a lot of people, you know, argue about, you know, mosquitoes and things like that. Well, the good thing about having a pond is that the water will attract the larva to you know the mosquitoes to lay their larva in the ponds and the fish will make their feast on these larva and tend to not rely on you feeding them a lot so this is one of the reasons why fish tend to breed a lot more readily in these ponds and container ponds outside so uh, you want to be cognizant of you know what you're feeding them and not to feed them a lot i actually fed them too much because i put a pinchful in there not realizing that they weren't eating it as much as they were just knocking it around and things so if you see there there's another one there you know larva form just sitting in the water really hard to see and this is why i'm still deciding what to put in this tank a uh, tub rather so I'm looking for some rarer species. I'm trying to hold out. I like to try to look for fish from our auctions, but for the summer, the Brooklyn Aquarium Society doesn't meet in July and August. And since uh, MissJinx.com, she's kind of on vacation. Uh, Rachel O'Leary had some knee surgery. I hope she's recuperating, recuperating well. But I'm trying to get some more rarer forms of fish. But in the meantime, I didn't want to leave these tubs empty. So I put white clouds in there. <laughs> And they are definitely making a meal of the larva. In addition, there is so much condensation in these tubs. I mean, it's like a rainforest in here. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I don't spend a lot of time in here because you can really uh, exhaust yourself if it's really hot in the greenhouse, but everything is so moist. And I was like, why is everything staying so moist? Here? And I realized it's the condensation because it's so much cooler outside than it is in the greenhouse. So another reason that I says I got to definitely explore using the greenhouse to raise the fish in these tubs. So another kudos and a thumbs up for the greenhouse. Best 40 bucks I ever spent. Uh, getting some peppers here. Get a lot of plants. I see my green bean sprouts or something's trying to come up. Got tons of lettuce coming up here. Uh, I forgot what the heck this is. It might be a pumpkin or something like that. I forgot what the hell. I just plant stuff in here to see how it did. And obviously everything is just coming up really fast got a lot of plants coming up here got the hornwort and things coming up here plus the uh plants i got from upstate i want to shout out to my aquarium box that redwood looks beautiful that i got in my aquarium box it actually looks brighter red than when i put it in there now that it has sunk i left it in there for a couple of days sunk to the bottom 
beautiful. So if you're looking for wood, my crayon box, man, Mike, Greg, everybody over there, Mike, Mike, Greg, shout out to y'all. Good job with the wood. Get some really good stuff on their website. Check them out. But now it's coffee time. Saturday, I'm gonna sit down, nice and cool, and I'm gonna get ready for Reefer Palooza tomorrow. If you're going to Reefer Palooza, shoot me a comment below. Sunday, I'll be in there like Vladimir. Uh, I'd like to meet you guys. You want to trade some pics, swap some stories. Uh, just hang out, man. I'll be there. Probably get my daughter and my wife to come with me. Maybe I can get some money out of them, man. <laughs> I know I'm going to spend more than I expect. But until then, I will see you guys. Love, peace, and hair grease. This is D, and I'm out.